summer is the perfect time to plan a vacation, but it's also a great time to start actually planning for the holidays. You heard me, it may seem far away, but holiday shopping can really have a big impact on your finances if you don't make a proactive plan. That's why we have financial expert Ali Hashemi, uh, Hashemian from Kinetic Financial. He's joining us now with tips to get you started. Welcome. Thank you for having it's like, me. It's like, what? It's just the weather is heated up, and now we're supposed to be planning for the holidays? I know, but, but it's going to come really quickly on you, so you might as well start planning now. Yeah, and it makes sense because, I mean, do you see a lot of clients who get into a lot of trouble come December and November and January? Yeah, people that are on a strict fixed budget, um, especially if you're retired, uh, a lot of those type of people really need to come up with a plan uh, for that extra spending that they're going to see at the end of the year. So how should we start planning? Well, there's a couple of tips I guess I would give. Number one is put pen to paper, put together a plan, get organized, you know, have a good budget set up, but also make a list of the people that could, should be on your gift list and maybe a list of people that you can skip. You're going to cross out this year? Yeah, exactly. Who gets <laughs> Check that list year? twice, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I think first thing is get organized. Second thing, put together some savings, stockpile some stuff so that you have money. It only takes a few bucks a month probably for you to put together a nice stockpile of savings. Make sure you leave that savings alone so don't go spending it on other things and then empty it out. And last but not least, think about alternatives. Uh, gift exchange is a great mm -hmm. option or homemade gifts maybe. Yeah. Um, those are always good ideas, photos, framed photos. Those and are always like the that. most special gifts, yeah. but then when it comes time, it's like, oh wow, I have to make all this stuff. I know, right yeah, now. that's the only problem. <laughs> I'm gonna get it done. And time is money, right? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, maybe not right for everybody, but things, think of alternatives. And I what guess. about starting to order gifts now? Like making that list and buying the gifts online now, I getting them all ready in a box somewhere? I think that's an excellent idea. Not only does it put you in a situation where you don't have to rush at the end, but you also can get some better discounts probably. And what about for retirees? Because I know you have tips specifically for retirees. Uh main one I would say is use your required minimum distributions, uh, RMDs as they're known. If you're not using those for other things, it's a great place to use them. The one thing that maybe uh, they want to think about are QCDs, Qualified Charitable Distributions. So if you're doing any kind of charitable gifts at the end of the year, mm -hmm. uh, you may want to use those RMDs for things like that as well, just to offset taxes. It's not a bad idea, you know, just to use like a mobile app and create a separate account just for gifts for the entire year maybe if you're have the luxury of doing that, yeah. even if it's a low balance, right? Yeah, and it doesn't cost you much yeah. of anything, and at least now you have it separated out. Okay, thank you. Pleasure. Good reminder. <laughs> thank you so much for already having me. thinking <laughs> about the holidays. <laughs> and for more tips from Ali, including a budget worksheet for the holidays, that's useful. Check out our website, kcalnews.com, and click Scene on TV.